What's up guys, it's Venom here with a, my first ever full walkthrough that I'm going to do and it's of Grand Theft Auto 3 on the PlayStation 2. So without further ado, cutscene 1! Ah, the nostalgia. I'm going to try not to talk during cutscenes or, you know, dialogue, so yeah, I'm going to stop. Sorry babe, I'm an ambitious girl. Criminal shot by girlfriend accomplice. Court finds armed robber guilty by an uh, an unanimous uh, I don't know. You know what? Unanimous verdict. I think I got it. I love this cutscene for some reason. Liberty City is in shock today as the police <coughs> and emergency services deal with the aftermath of a devastating attack on a police convoy this morning. As yet, no details have been released about the prisoners being transferred in the convoy, and no group has claimed responsibility. The convoy left police headquarters early this morning for a routine transfer of felons to Liberty Penitentiary. The attack took place on the Callahan Bridge, leaving few witnesses, and the bridge itself severely damaged. Some of the convicts are thought to have perished in the explosion that followed the initial attack. Revelations as to the professionalism of the attack struck police hours afterward, when identification of the missing felons were further hampered by an attack by computer hackers on police headquarter databases. With the Porter Tunnel Project falling behind schedule, this disaster leaves Portland isolated from the rest of the city. Did you guys see that? He's gone low. Senor Dickhead. an interesting start, huh? Now how the fuck we gonna get across there? By doing missions, of course! Oh. Oh my. I know a place on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low, but my hands are all messed up, so you better drive, brother. First things first. Trails off. Done deal. Okay, now let's get in the car and go. Turn up the chatterbox, of course. It's the only way to do this. Would you like a kitten? Gotta go to the safe house first. And we'll send you a cute kitten overnight. I want a cute kitten overnight. Delivering little bundles of love and I really suck at driving on this game. These are the newer and Grand Theft Autos. Like, literally, up until the point of me getting this a day or two ago, I have not played this in about, I want to say, eight, nine, ten years, maybe? So, yeah, it's going to it's gonna be a little new to me. I still remember the map, though, pretty well. I wanted to talk about spanking. Spanking. The only way to do yeah. right from wrong. This is so, the place right here. Let's get off the street and find a change of clothes. Okay. Eddie's. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that information. I know this guy. He's connected. Maybe me and him go back so I can probably get you some work. On, I know where to go, dude. First we take a left. I, I, I don't know where that one car was going. But we gotta go to this. Ah, oh, where'd you come from, asshole? It's his fault, not mine. Luigi's Girls. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Wait 
wait here, man, while I go in and talk to Luigi. Where's Mario? Mario needs to be included in this shit, too. <clears throat> Say hello to 8 Ball, lady. 8 Ball's got some business upstairs. Well, maybe you could do me a favor. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girls. Not a damn so soul. Keep your hands on the wheel. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. Now get out of here. What if I put my hand like on like the dashboard? What if I put my hand ah fuck it. Same piece of shit. Please call the show right now. Go pick up chicks. A hooker, to be exact. Excuse me, people. I'm in a rush to pick up my hooker. Well, my boss's hooker. My uh, man that I just found a minute ago is hooker. Get in. I'm gonna aggravate the shit out of her. Yeah, come on. Oh, really? I haven't heard that. Well, hi, Misty. How you doing, Bo? Yeah. And the first mission is complete. That is a ridiculously short mission. Awesome, though. Free money. Let's get back out and do this shit again. Don't spank my bitch up. Luigi said to, to give you this, so here, here, take it. Why was he so hesitant? There's a new high on the street. Goes by the name of Spank. Some wise guy's been introducing this trash to my girls down Portland Harbor. Go and introduce a bat to his face. Then take his car, respray it. I want compensation for this insult. You know, when I was younger and I was playing this about... Like, 2001, 2002? I always thought it was Claude saying that. Oh, uh, no. We're gonna use cheats. It's good enough. Now, let's take an Uzi to him. I'm gonna keep this car as long as I can. That is my mission. That is my main goal. I, I don't even think this car is worth it, my trouble, but I'm gonna keep it. I started to go the wrong way. I can go either way, but this way I find quicker. I almost, I, I think I actually did bump into that guy a little bit. It's all good though. Yeah, we'll take the AK. What's up, guy? Thank you. Piece of shit car. Marshall, is your job affecting your health? Do you become yeah. fatigued? Does working no. take time away from family and social events like watching wrestling? There's an easy solution. Ah, WrestleMania. See, the great thing about this country is you can sue anyone for pretty much anything, and you'll probably <laughs> win, or at least get a settlement. I love listening to Chatterbox. Like some of the shit said on this like radio station on here is just some of the most ridiculous stuff you'll ever hear. And, like, uh, the guy that talks about the, shit, I think it's the Australian War, uh, my favorite one is the squirrel guy. Uh, not squirrel, pigeon. Fuck, I don't know. And the naked guy, I think this is it, though. I just wanted to make your viewers aware the first international puppetry festival is next month at the no, fairground, it's <laughs> The naked guy is pretty funny too. He's like trying to do a PSA about clothes and how they're a sin to a humanity. It's pretty damn hilarious. If you've been living under a rock, bro, guys with puppets get chicks. I take my monkey puppets to the park all the time. We play hacky sack together, it's rad. But anyway, dude, at the international puppetry festival, we'll be having work... 
I was, oh, there we go. Why'd they make that garage so small? Switch to the Uzi. Oh, you asshole! I'm so pissed. I'm not gonna do anything about it. I'm just gonna take the summer. So it's right in front of a cop, so it's not a smart idea. But cops don't pay attention to shit. Old groats and gold We're just not gonna. We'll be back after this. Yeah. Back to Louise's. Castle on a windswept moor. Do you long to trade in your sweatsuit for a hundred pound suit of armor and swap your S? Drive Misty for me again. A combo. What am I gonna do? Wait. Hey, I gotta talk to you. All right, Mick. I'll talk to you later. How you doing, kid? The Don's son, I'm... Joey Leone. He wants some action from his regular girl, Misty. Go pick her up at Hepburn Heights, but watch yourself. That's Diablo turf. Then run her over to his garage in Trenton and make it quick. Joey ain't the kind you keep waiting. Remember, this is your foot in the door. So keep your eyes on the road and off Misty. What if I want to put my arm on Misty? Nah. Anyway... Is your next off we go. Well, get ready, Liberty City. This weekend and Whoa, look at how far she was. Now, I will say something cool that I just figured out, like, earlier this year. Earlier this year, late last year. Uh, the guy, Joey, that Luigi was referring to. I don't know if you guys are movie buffs or anything, but... Uh, there's, a, there's an actor by the name of Michael Rappaport. And he actually voices Joey. The more you know, though. It's all chain mail. And this weekend only, pick up an I got a mechanical lady of the lake in Excalibur. It's perfect. I done fucked up my route. Oh. And learn how to read your condo of vermin using a penny whistle and a mysterious prancing German named Hans. The medieval millennium. Hans. Every weekend at Liberty City Park. Swerve. All right, Liberty City, you are listening to Chatterbox, the show that is the number one reason for the success of the internet. All right, oh. let's take a call. Who's on the line? Close. What about... Ah, oh, here's the naked Close. guy. What are you talking about? Laszlo, close. Close, Laszlo. I hate him. I just hate him. <laughs> Wait, we're, all, we're all about opinions on Chatterbox, which is a Liberty City's premier phone-in station. But why don't you like clothes? I just hate them. They're so constricting. I mean, there's a line where clothes, and the line is the king of the jungle. So why yeah, you can kind of see where that guy goes. Pretty fucking funny. Joey! Am I gonna get to play with your big ends again? I'll be with you in a minute, Spark Plug. Hey, I'm Joey. Luigi said you were reliable, so come back later. There might be some work for you. All right? Alright guys, I'm going to have to end it on that, you know, on this episode. Uh, be sure to check out part two coming up soon. I will be releasing it quite, you know, within the next day or so. So uh, make sure to keep your eye out for that. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Any support helps. Uh, hit the shit out of the thumbs up button too. And I hope you all enjoyed. Till next time. Later!